Hey, so this is Giselle. Welcome to my channel. And I'm going to show you how to achieve this pretty sunset, orange, gold, smoky eye. Don't know what to call it, but yeah. Pretty much, this is what I'm trying to do. So just stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so just getting into it. <coughs> Jesus, take the wheel. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going through this cold, but I've been sick for about a month, so I've been trying to hold off on this voiceover, and I'm just not having it anymore. So anyways, I'm just going ahead and filling in my eyebrows with my Naked Basics palette um, and cleaning it up with some concealer. The concealer that I'm using is from NYX. I'll have all of the products that I use down below, um, but pretty much I'm just cleaning up the brows right now. Um... Yeah, so I'm so sorry guys, this, this is my first video, so I might be all over the place, but just forgive me. Now I'm just cleaning, I mean, setting the base for my eyeshadow with the concealer, Maybelline concealer, and I'm just setting it with an e.l.f. powder. I'm now going in with the ColourPop Cute AF palette and just starting with that transition color on the crease. And then I'm going in with the next color just to deepen that crease and start to um, have that transition effect and going in with the elf powder and just kind of blending in that orange and the brown with the transition shade I'm just buffing that in um, from there I'm going in with this red to just intensify and bring the warm tones and by the way I'm so sorry I know my best friends one of her guys that she's talking to he let me use his camera so I was at his house and um <laughs> he's all in the background so you're just gonna have to excuse that but I'm just going in and blending blend 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 as per usual and going back in and just continuing to blend um, and yeah just keep blending that bitch and from here I am just going back in and kind of doing like the inner and outer corner just to intensify that and then I'm now going in with the orange from here I am trying to what am I trying to do oh yeah I am applying concealer to the lid to kind of start as a base for the color that I will be applying and now I'm going in with the I think it's buttercup shade and oh it's so pretty um, and then I'm just gonna blend in again in the crease and then I'm just gonna intensify it with the dark brown. And just keep going back and forth. So yeah guys, this is my first video. I'm trying my best to get right. Um, I've been holding this off for quite some time, but at this point, it's just been long overdue. So I gotta do what I gotta do, you know? Just stay tuned for more videos. And if you have any requests for any other videos, let me know. But now I'm going in to prime my skin. And ugh, I just got it on my ring, so I made that disgusting face not too long ago. But yeah, gotta be able to have that wing. I'm creating my wing now as my primer starts to get a little tacky. Just make sure that that wing is sharp enough to cut your ex's girl. And yeah, just keep on going. Make sure that you perfect it. It looks nice. And for anyone who asks if my eyebrows are microbladed, no, they're just naturally pretty thick, so I don't have to um, fill them in much because they are naturally thick. But now I'm going in with my voluminous. I oh, love this mascara. Um, the Lash Paradise, actually, I said voluminous. Jesus, take the wheel. So yes, I'm just adding that to my lashes and just add as many coats as possible. I'm not wearing any false lashes. I just use my natural lash and just put as many coats as possible. I can't get this camera to focus in on anything to save my life. But now, I'm finally taking my foundation to cover up my skin because Lord knows all these F-boys caused me to break out so much for all the stress. So, you know, we have to make sure to cover that up because no, nobody want to see that. So I'm just going in now with under eye concealer and I'm using the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. And you know, I'm just blending that out with my Beauty Blender. 
and just making sure that everything looks seamless everything blends in nicely to the skin as I'm there turning up real quick and next thing is I am now I don't know what I'm doing what am I doing am I setting am I baking yes I am baking okay so I am baking my under eyes make sure that that concealer is bulletproof that there is nothing messing with it that it will not fade or crease and now I'm just going in with my Maybelline Fit Me Powder just to set the rest of my face. I have pretty oily skin so I have to make sure that nothing transfers and nothing, you know, comes out or comes off. So I'm here now just baking my face, setting my face, and now I am about to go into contour. So I am again using my e.l.f. palette and I'm just mixing the two colors. One's pretty warm, one's pretty cool. So I like to get the effect of both because it gets a little more natural. It's not too warm, but it's not too cool that it looks muddy. So I'm just, you know, making sure that I contour really nicely, make sure that there's a nice shadow there. And I'm going ahead and trying to snatch my little double chin make sure that that goes away so I'm rubbing it up against my jawline make sure that we can get that nice and snatched and I'm just touching up on that contour making sure that it looks nice and blended in and not chalky and not that's the word I'm looking for I don't know butched who knows and um, yeah, so I'm just pretty much making sure that everything looks blended and I'm now taking my powder and just trying to um, bake what's underneath my contour so that I can make my contour stand out a little bit. I'm just so mad that he just was all in my video. I'm like, sir, I know you can let me use the camera, but please, can you just stay out of my video? Anyways, so I'm just going back in with that color and just running it underneath my waterline. And now I'm going in with my Wet n Wild highlighter. I think it's Petal Push or Precious Petals, one of those. But again, I'll have it linked down below. And the same thing, I have this ColourPop Liquid Lipstick. In my opinion, it looks a little too light. I could have went a little bit darker, but it is what it is. We're just going to make it work. I was originally trying to find my lip liner and I could not find it so I just went in with the uh, liquid lipstick but lo and behold you will see that I will find it in a little bit and you're gonna see how happy I was because Lord knows I was going through trying to find that lip liner but now I'm going back in with my highlight and now that my highlight is popping you can finally see it I'm actually quite happy um, I'm just going back in and make sure that it's extra blinding that you can see it from another country if needed and yeah we're just gonna go ahead and make sure I highlight the tip of my nose my chin and there you go found that lip liner so now I'm just going in and outlining the my lips and making sure that they look nice and plump nice and full and outlined and I'm kind of blending it in with my finger considering that we have the liquid lipstick on there so I'm just going in with that and blending with my finger as I go honestly it, it blended a little bit but considering this is a liquid lipstick that does dry pretty fast because it's a color pop one my blending didn't go as well as I wanted it to but you know what this is all about making it work, especially on a budget. So we're going to make it work on a budget because I'm a broke bitch. Not only am I a broke bitch, but I'm a broke bitch that deals with fuckboys on a constant basis. So we're just going to make it do what it does. So pretty much that's going to be the final look. I'm going to go back in with my highlight and make sure that I go back in on the tip of my nose to make sure it stands out. Looks like a cute little button nose. And from there, that's pretty much the final look, guys. So I'm just going to try to focus in on the look. But there you go. Looks pretty nice. Really pretty. Very sunsetty. Sunsetty looking like confetti. And 
If you liked this look, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And stay tuned for my next video, guys. Thank you so much.